Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, the Team of the Year vote is out. We know the release date of Team of the Year. What's left? Oh yeah, leaks. And guess what? We have some leaks, especially for some of those icons. We always wonder about Team of the Year icons. Well, we've got some names to look at today and some players to expect heading forward into Team of the Year. Plus, there's a lot of confusion on the market right now. And with leaks or leaks to evolutions are we getting more evo content this week or is the price is moving like on cristiano gold ronaldo going from like eight to ten thousand coins up to 16k just a hoax we're going to talk about that today a little bit and of course more market in today's video as it is a big day for the market wednesday new team of the week maybe some more content that could make things move all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new yesterday's content is going to be real quick to talk about because we had one player sbc and that was it. It was one of the quietest days. I think I said this earlier in the week that it was one of the quietest days of content. Well, EA have outdone themselves. Now, a lot of people were mad about the content yesterday just being this Ruben Neves. But I get, the, I get the frustration with only one piece of content along with the other refreshes of the other upgrade packs and SBCs. But this is a good SBC, honestly. For 20,000 coins, yes, he's three-star skill moves. But for Saudi League links, for 20,000 coins, may I say it again, four-star weak foot, medium high, power shot plus, and also Evo potential maybe in a month or so. If you have a Saudi League team, this card goes straight in. 97 composure, that's a really high stat. His passing is incredible. Uh, his defending looks good too. Really, really well all-rounded card with some other really good play styles like pink pass, long ball, interceptor, bruiser, and press proven. That's a really nice midfield card. So if you want to get this done at some point, it's only an 84 squad, which is so easy to do. That's nice. It's actually making some Saudi League cards go up as well. I have some Anderson Taliskas that I had bought for like 80,000 coins on bid um, during the kind of the Evo crash the last couple of days on the weekend. Uh, so he is up making coins there. And then, of course, this Kula Bali, which is a direct link from 45,000 coins to 56 thousand coins so maybe if you have any places where you want to trade and get on bids and flip cards look out for these Saudi League cards because I was making you know like it's like 10,000 coins 12,000 coins a card on those Taliskas and I think he's even higher now at about 100,000 coins from where he was earlier in the week now since content was again pretty quiet there were also no lightning rounds yesterday may I add and with the refresh of the 84 times 5 the team league SBC that people are still ripping out to get other SBCs done and crafted our low tier fodder is doing the business. We've got 83s approaching 1.2K. We got 84s, 2.2 thousand coins now on those, rising nicely. 85s are 5K, 86s are approaching 8,000 coins. Fodder is rising nice because there's not much supply and yet there is still demand. If you invested, if you still have a lot of these cards, like I do, I would keep lazy listing them on the market. I'm even getting sales here on Havertz for 12 to 1300 coins. That's an 82 rated card that's like 800 coins on the market. I'm still lazy listing my high rated fodder. I'm still lazy listing promo cards. As you can see here, I got a Royce for 32, listing it at 39. Uh, and then I still have a bunch of 84s that I bought for like 1.8K. Some of these I've just stocked on my transfer list for my own use for SBCs, probably coming next week. So if we do get lightning rounds today. That's one thing. If you want to sell because you fear that we will get lightning rounds today in this game, you can sell a little bit of that low tier fodder. Wednesdays have been days where they've run lightning rounds before, but that's, in my opinion, the only way that fodder drops from now until Friday, which will probably be the day when it drops again a little bit. Another entry point if you have it invested, um, especially if we get the 84 times 10 lightning round on the weekend. But if we get any sort of lightning rounds today, the fodder could drop a little bit. But it's so low, guys, that if you bought it under 1.8k for the 84s or 900 coins or 800 coins for the 83s you might as well just keep holding because that's about as low as it's gonna get so that's what i'm thinking for fodder right there i'm gonna hold on to a lot of mine just because i have next week in mind with a pre-team of the year type of warm-up promo in mind and then also these cards as well we've got to talk to fc um fire and ice the versus cards these went for a crazy ride yesterday we were talking about them on the youtube video last night they were about twenty thousand coins right they had a crazy rise right before content up to 35k literally all of them it wasn't just the senjo it was all of these cards i can show you marata's graph he had the same thing happen it was absolutely mental these cards all spiked at like 33 34 000 coins it was the peak of demand right before the content drop of people getting on and playing the cup and needing these players but it was also the lack of supply. These cards, like we've looked at, and as we've been able to see through trading with them and watching their price fluctuations, 
these cards are very, very rare. So I'm not saying that I'm going to look into buying any of these in the early hours today, but Asenjo and, and some of these cards are already starting to go back up. They were, I believe, all, all of the fire cards were down at like 17 to 18,000 coins. Now they're approaching 19 to 20. There may be another rise before the content drop today, but those would be cards once again that I don't think would rise up through the re remainder of this week. I would still take the cash. You don't want to mess with lightning rounds, especially in the lower tier cards, but that did make some people some crazy coins yesterday with some of those fluctuations, especially on the discard items for the fire versus ice. That was really, really crazy. Now, maybe a little bit of information too that's not being talked about a lot, but needs to be pressed to the forefront, at least shown is a player of the month SBC that is going to be coming next after this one goes away. Killing Mbappe, player of the month, right? It's its second in a row. The voting was released yesterday for who is going to be the next December player of the month for League One. And guess who's in the vote again? Killian Mbappe is in the vote for the third month in a row. But will he win it for a third month in a row is the question. He's up against two formidable opponents, Lacazette and Aubameyang. And actually going and taking a look at the statistics, yes, Mbappe, Aubameyang, and Lacazette all have four goals on the month, and Mbappe did it in one less game. But uh, Aubameyang actually has four assists to go along with his four goals. So it's looking like with four goals and four assists, Aubameyang could be the League One Player of the Month winner for December. I went ahead and voted Lacazette just because I'd be down for a special Laka. We just had the radioactive Aubameyang, which is nice, still on my bench. We've had two Player of the Months and Mbappe in a row. If you've wanted to do an Mbappe, you've had two chances. Like, if they drop a third one, it'll be kind of like, oh, my goodness, man, EA. Or not even EA, but I kind of hope Aubameyang wins, wins this just for something different. But also, an Mbappe player of the month that will be out during the entirety of Team of the Year would be a really nice craft for those of you that ha maybe haven't done um, an Mbappe POTM yet. But once you do one of those Mbappes, you're done. Like, I've got the 92, and I think all the coins and the fodder that I put in that, there's no shot I would do a 94 even if he were to win that. But I wouldn't invest in fodder yet. I mean, the voting on the website says that it's going to take place until January 14th, January 15th. So we've got like five days to vote here. There's plenty of time before this SBC will even release. I don't think, I mean, Mbappe still has 11 days on his SBC inside of this game right now. I wouldn't think that we would get a player of the month League One SBC until like right before team of the year at the earliest, right? Because this countdown is basically counting to the start of team of the year. Sorry, team of the year, not team of the season. So watch out for that. I mean, that's the big news in terms of a player of the month SBC that could be coming soon, uh, but that vote was just released yesterday. So if you want to go take a look at that vote, I'll drop the link to it in the description. I know some of those voting websites are hard to find. I'll drop a link to that down there. Also, there's no news for Premier League Player of the Month. Like that was one thing that I was hoping to see on this tweet earlier in the week or this Instagram post. Nothing about Prem Player of the Month. So watch for leaks. If it's leaked about who won, won the award, um, then maybe there's a chance that it could come out and they just forgot to put it on this tweet. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's one thing to me that's a little bit confusing at the moment is where in the world is Premier League Player of the Month because we would have expected it to be this Friday, but the way that it's shaken up, it looks like it might not be. Now, let's get to the big news with Team of the Year, right? It seems like every single day we just get a, we get a little bit more of news about Team of the Year, right? We had to vote. Maybe we have some leaks, right? And that is what we have today. It is the leaks. And they all started off yesterday with Foot Sheriff with a big leak team of the year icons guys not team of the year players right the vote's still going on if you see a leak for a team of the year player before the voting is over you know it's technically last year we had that same thing there could be that potential that like how is there leaks before the voting is over like some cards are already in jude bellingham putes like we talked about yesterday they're definitely already in but regardless these icons are coming during team of the year and ea has gone all out like we would expect them to right for the team of the year icons last year remember the beckham that we had the dino that we had all the insane icons i remember gerd muller there were so many good ones right looks like they're going all out again this year and again r9 is going to lead the pack in terms of the biggest name and play that's going to be it's going to be a 10 mil plus card, right? If his 94 R9 card is 6 million coins right now, we're looking at an R9, probably plus one, 95 rated with a dynamic image on the sick team of the year card design. Probably going to be 10 million, maybe 15 million coins right away. Maybe 10 million rising to 15 million out of packs. It's going to be a very expensive card. Now, moving on, 
This is a official leak of what we've been expecting, and we've mentioned it a couple of times, but Foot Sheriff does say that every team of the year item will have two playstyle pluses. And honestly, just looking at it on the card, it looks kind of weird because right now we've been used to seeing just one right on a card. You look at like the Alex Morgan with finesse plus like, okay, I'm just used to seeing a card with either one or zero. And now we've got two there. It does kind of look pretty crazy. And imagine, you know, some of these players like R9 with trickster and power shot, or maybe somebody with like technical dribbler and finesse. It's going to be cracked. It's going to change the power curve a lot. And it's going to just draw people, especially to these team of the year cards that are going to be again, just a little bit more meta with those extra playstyle pluses. We know how much they impact the game this year. They impact the game so much. They take your players' abilities to the next level with the animations and the consistency of how good they perform those types of animations with whatever playstyle plus they have in game. That's going to be crazy, and that's probably going to hurt the market and create some panic on the market, maybe even during Team of the Year, and it's going to put so much demand on those Team of the Year cards because they're just going to have that extra bit of overpoweredness and meta aspect to them since they're going to have two plus play styles so the only question i have is what about goalkeepers are goalkeepers going to get play style pluses because we haven't had a single one yet with a play style plus will that change we'll have to see so r9 is our first leak patrick vieira is our second leak and i think they've done him dirty here on this prediction he better get a higher rated card than an 89 plus one Come on, man. I mean, I know this is a, is a prediction, so I'm not getting my hopes up or down based off of this. But um, yeah, I think Vieira needs to be like 90 or 91 rated, man. You look at the Vieira card that we have in game right now, it's 88 rated. He's got 82 pace. He's got 78 shooting. He's definitely going to be hole at gang, right? They got to give him 80 shooting. And they really need to boost up his dribbling and his passing because at this stage of the game, also a weak foot and a skill move boost. Like imagine a 4-4 Vieira that's 90 rated. I know I'm setting the bar pretty high here, but... With a couple playstyle pluses, maybe block plus and like bruiser plus or something like that. That's going to be an insane combination, right? So I'm definitely excited for these cards. They're going to be difficult to pack. One of like every, I don't know, 100,000, maybe million people are going to pack these team of the year icons. It's going to be crazy, but they're still going to be in packs and then at least be something to shoot for. So Vieira is a name that we have and Ribery is another one. Everybody wanted Ribery, and we're getting his card. Again, just like Vieira, I think the juice needs to be bigger than just a plus one, and I hope that it is, um, especially because a card or a player usually only gets one or two different promo icon versions during the entire year of the game. So hopefully for this Vieira, it's a 90 rated card, 91 rated. I'm not doubting that EA will juice the cards. I'm just saying based off of these predictions, they're not that great. But man, Ribery and Vieira and R9. What a big set of leaks that we have. Now, there's been other people that have been tweeting about Team of the Year icons, guys, and especially Footbin, all right? And Footbin's never been leaking stuff before, and in some of these tweets, they say predictions. They're definitely going after the interaction bag here on X, Twitter, with these posts. Um, some of these icons, people are asking me, Nate, did you see Charlton is leaked? Did you see that Casillas is leaked? Did you see that Rio Ferdinand is leaked. Uh, guys, I think I read these tweets, and since Footbin has never really leaked stuff before, uh, like I think these are predictions, right? Um, so don't read into these too much. Now, some of them might end up being legit, like Sawa doesn't have a promo icon yet, could very easily get in. Javi, very good chance of getting into a team of the year icon as well, All right? They put Ribery. I, I guess this is a prediction. I mean, if we actually go back and look at the Sheriff tweet leaking Ribery, they said below. Sheriff seeing our Ribery prediction this morning, right? You know, with a little bit of a meme, with a gif. So I think these are predictions, guys. I'm not reading into it too much. I mean, yes, I would like these, but I think what I would like to see is a, an actual leak from a Sheriff, from any of the other guys that we look at for trusted leaks on X um, more often posting those. So watch out for more leaks. They're going to be coming and they're going to continue to impact the market as well. You take a look at some of those cards that were leaked and other top tier icons yesterday with that news. Look at Mia Ham going from 2.9 mil down to 2.6. They have rebounded back up a little bit. Um, even like some of the top tier promo cards, Cristiano Ronaldo was, is down, but he went from 2.07 yesterday down to 1.85 at content and then went back to 2 million coins. And now he's right now down at 1.9. So that top tier of the market, I still think has further room to, to drop. I think the whole entire rest of the market has room to drop, guys. A lot of the promo cards still, there is going to be further panic on. But at least right now, the way that we're sitting, there's not that much panic yet. Because we know we're not quite to team of the year. And there's still a lot of demand 
for people to go out and buy teams to play in the cup right to play with these versus players to build squads to play champs get the rewards play rivals get the rewards so there's still a good amount of gameplay demand and uh yeah we're just awaiting more news that's really going to kickstart some more of the the crashing on the market i think that's going to happen probably this weekend or next week now let's not get ahead of ourselves let's talk today wednesday what's going to shake things up on the landscape of fc24 today and i think there's two things that we have to look out for the one is already something that we've mentioned and that is lightning rounds right they had no lightning rounds released on monday or on tuesday yesterday but wednesdays with a brand new team of the week coming have been days that we've seen this year where they dropped lightning rounds. Remember, the global limits section here hasn't been there the last couple of days. We watch out for today an 84 times 10, like we already mentioned. If they drop the 84 times 10, that is going to hurt everything that is in packs, especially fodder. 84s, 85s, 86s, even all the way up to probably some of your 90 rated cards that are, I think right now, I saw Messi at almost like 60k. Maybe not quite 60K, but like, oh, 60K for Messi. Wow, man, that's crazy, man. Seriously crazy how much fodder is going up on this game. Wow, can I take a look at all 90s? Are they all 60K or is that just Messi because he's the GOAT? They're all 60K. Wow. Uh, De Bruyne and Holland are 81, 82,000 coins a piece as well. 89s are 37,000 coins. What a rise on those. 88s are 22K. The market in terms of fodder are, is flying. 87s are 14 a piece. Wow. I mean, it is tempting to sell some of this stuff, guys. But honestly, I don't think for all of these cards, it made. I honestly don't think that it'll drop off as much this weekend as we saw last weekend. I think the lowest prices on some of the fodder was probably seen last weekend as much as we're rising up this week. And thinking about how many people are not opening packs right now. So lightning rounds today would keep the fodder in check. And it would maybe make them drop a little bit. Of course, it would make the versus cards drop. And it would supply the new team of the week pretty well as well. And speaking of a new team of the week, this is who we have leaked so far. We have Teo Hernandez getting a second inform of the year. De Jong getting an inform. Lautaro Martinez, Ariola, uh, Myra Ramirez, Ulder. Um, it looks like a pretty mid team of the week. Teo will be nice. De Jong will be nice. Uh, Lautaro, Ariola could be nice as well. Maybe a couple of gems in here. Watch out for this Buon Giorno. He already has an inform. He's a center back. His work rates aren't that good. But um, if he gets a featured team of the week, he could go to an 86 rated card and kind of be cracked. So watch out for that one. But the team league looks pretty mid today. But Wednesdays have been days where they've dropped lightning rounds before. Now, the second thing that could impact things today as well is evolutions. And we, as I'm recording this video right now, don't have any new concrete leaks for any evolutions that are going to come out but there is a lot of fake news TikTok pump and dump pump and dump in discords whatever you want to call it we don't really 100 percent know what it is there are prices moving on the market because whether it's tweets whether it's people saying that they have a leak whether they do or whether they not people are investing in these cards Cristiano ronaldo is 17,000 coins on the market for his base gold card. And again, we mentioned this a couple times earlier, but just to show you his graph, yesterday it started, right? He went from 8,000 coins all the way to 16K, and he's been there. He's been at 16, 17,000 coins for this whole entire time. Other players that are up in value, Gakpo, uh, I think Joao Felix are other players that started rising in value a ton yesterday. He went from 1,200 coins to 2.8, and is now back at a 2.3, 2.4K. Guys, um, Foot Police is who we've been seeing a lot of the evolutions posted by recently, and he's been pretty accurate with these evolution leaks. I don't know, man. He hasn't posted a thing. He said there's no left back Evo early in the week when Teo Hernandez and Ferlin Mendy went up. He's saying there's no striker Evo, that Ronaldo doesn't fit, right? So I don't know. I don't have leaks. I can't 100% explain all of this, but to me, this feels a little bit fishy. And also, you think about when we've had, as we take a look at the index on Footbin and see that a lot of these cards that are up are strikers, a couple of center backs, Ramos, but he's out of packs, Kempembe, who knows. Uh, but you see like Rashford started to go up yesterday as well. Like, is there a left wing Evo, right? Or is this just people that are sitting on the market and, and pumping and dumping these cards? Who knows? Evolutions recently have not been dropping during the week. That's one thing against thinking that an evolution would drop today. Um, I mean, think about it. We've had evolutions on like Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, especially during winter wild cards. And even this last weekend during versus, that's kind of all that we got. And then it really backed off during the week. And content this week has been so quiet. I don't know, guys. So I would say watch out for some concrete leaks. Again, the guys that I show you for leak accounts on X, on Twitter, those are the guys that you can trust 
the most when it comes to leaks. I know there's a lot of other accounts out there that are probably pumping and dumping or trying to get some clicks because they want to say that they have a leak, whether they do or not. It's not for me to judge, but we'll see when stuff actually gets dropped in the game who has the leaks and who is right. And the guys that I show you on these videos are the guys that are right like 90% of the time. So we'll just watch out for that. But honestly, I think some of the reason that these cards are going up and like pump and dump is happening on some of these gold cards, guys, is I kind of think people are bored, right? <laughs> With the way the content has been the past couple of days, it's been a bit quiet since Winter Wild Cards was a good promo with a lot of stuff going on. It's been a bit quiet recently, and I think that maybe some of that in there and people also making a lot of coins off of the Evo for, like, Finisher and the Cut Inside Evolution, uh, that's motivated some people to try to manipulate the mark a little bit, maybe. So um, that's just kind of what I think and what I'm seeing currently on the way the market is kind of looking right now. So, again, just trust the credible sources when it comes to those leaks. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is um, what's happening on Friday. It says right here, it's kind of blocked by the webcam, right? But it doesn't say anything about versus team one or team two. And usually when we see that, it's only a one week promo. Are we getting a versus team two on Friday or is EA going straight into team of the year warm up series? The last thing I want you guys to watch out for today is a loading screen. Because if we get a loading screen for a team of the year warm up series, a pre team of the year type of promo, that could incite a little bit more panic. That could also get people thinking about saving packs, doing more 84 times fives, and making fodder go up, actually. That's the way that I would think it maybe would go, unless EA run lightning rounds. But it could make some prices drop on the market, and it could also just get people in that team of the year fever, in that team of the year mood once again. And it also may make the FC versus cards not drop a ton because people know they're going to be going out of packs and there's no new ones upcoming with the cup still out requiring them. I know there's going to be a lot of investors that want to buy those FC Fire and Ice cards because there's still a cup that is there that gives good packs and XP. So be careful with that today. Watch for a loading screen. Watch for leaks too because this is the tweet. Foot Police is a guy that we, we do, like we just mentioned, trust a lot with this stuff. He said that there will be a Fire and Ice team too. Maybe it's a Fire and Ice Team 2 alongside of a Team of the Year warm-up series. Maybe it's both of those combined. We're not sure. If we start to get player leaks for a Team 2, right? Remember, we had a leak for Kingsley Coleman. Never dropped, right? For Ice and Fire Team 1. If we start to get more player leaks for a Team 2, like if Sheriff starts tweeting, Romania starts tweeting, these guys that we follow on Twitter start tweeting about leaks, then it would make sense that there's a team too. So right now it seems 50-50, whether there is one or whether there's not one, we'll just have to see. So watch out for a lot of leaks today. And that's a lot of news in this video. Let's end it off with something fun. Let's go on 84 times five. I got two double walkouts from these yesterday. Can we continue the streak? Bernardo Silva looking good. It's not a double walkout though. All right, Bernardo Silva 88, I'll take that. If there's an informant in behind this and I can go do another one of these, I'll be very happy. And there is, and it's Olise. Oh, shoot. I think he is really expensive for the Evolution finisher, right? Okay, no, he's 32,000 coins. But his uh, his card does look pretty cracked on that one. 93 dribble, 89 pass. The shooting's a little bit tough. But he's got the low shot power, which, which means his Trevellos will be insane. So, medium, medium work rates, though. Ooh, you guys know me. I'm not a big fan of that. That's probably going to go in either the Maldini SBC or or yet again, another 84 times five. Put those tradable ones on the transfer list. And again, market-wise right now, what I've been trading with in the last day is I have just been low-tier flipping, right? I've been lazy listing fodder, lazy listing players. The market actually did pretty well yesterday. I picked up a Doku at 200, so 205, exactly. Sold it at 233. Um, sold a Firmino that I sniped at 340, 370 for a small flip. There's the Taliskas. And I had a number of other sales that were cleared of lazy sales, right? Um, some 88s that I had listed up, some 90s. I sold one Athenia yesterday. The, the Sanes that I bought. Do I still have both of them? I think, yeah, I still have both of them. Here's the other one right here. There's the Royce I got for 32. So I'm just buying low budget. I don't have that many players. I mean, I do because I have a lot of fodder stocked on the transfer list here. But I've got like two thirds of my coins at the moment liquid. And I'm just kind of lazy listing, man. It's kind of just a couple sales every few hours and it's pretty easy to do that but the market is moving okay because especially yesterday people were going out and playing rivals the content was dead and if today if it's like that as well get back on the market there were some pretty crazy fluctuations on rare cards find the rare stuff most recent promos cards that people want to use and make some coins quick flipping those cards so that's going to be the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan with accounts see you guys in a video tomorrow and a twitch stream today that link's down below as always peace out.